Hi everyone, this is Brad with Engadget. We are at Engadget Expand, and we have an insert coin candidate here. Now, Ronald, you're with Observos, and you're running a Kickstarter campaign uh, this, uh, most likely this, this Monday. Correct. It um, has to do with remote monitoring and sensors, so tell yeah. us uh, a bit about exactly what you're going to be uh, launching on Monday. So, Observos is the Internet of Places. Our concept is to have a base station that connects to the internet, and uses a wireless mesh network to connect to sensors. At the moment, our prototypes support about 40 sensors. And we have six here at Expand. And you can see different temperatures that they're showing. I've got this one sitting on a hot pack, and it's reading about 73 at the moment. And we have another one that's sitting on some dry ice. And it's reading considerably colder. Observos has a, wire, a web interface so that you can view all your sensors remotely and they'll send you an email or a text message alert. It works with your cell phone, either iPhone, Windows phone, Android device, and you can see graphs of the uh, data. The uh, applications for it would include things like if you have a greenhouse, you can be informed whether the temperature is getting too high. and that maybe a fan or a vent has failed. Or if you have a wine cellar and the humidity is too low, it can send you a text message saying, hey, maybe you should do something about this to salvage your collection. Okay, so we got temperature, humidity, uh, barometric pressure, uh, any other uh, things that can be measured at this point? For our Kickstarter campaign, we're gonna focus on those three. And in the future, we will plan on expanding Observers to be a complete sense and control network so that it can not only determine that the temperature is too high or that the soil moisture is too low, but can take an action, either open a flow valve to water the plant or to open a fan, or open a fan, <laughs> open a vent or turn on a fan. Sure. Um, so is this something that can be uh, programmable by third parties, anybody just wanting to kind of tinker around with it, or is this something that's just uh, a specific uh, standard that, that you're coming out with? So the Kickstarter campaign will launch and in, include a uh, hacker's platform which is basically an Arduino compatible uh, wireless Arduino board and they'll be a lot cheaper than the bundled kit of sensors. The sensors designed to be programmed and accessed primarily through the web interface. However, the hacker board is more general purpose than that. Okay, now you were talking a little bit about uh, price here. Can you go into more details about how much everything is going to be costing? Sure. A base station and one indoor sensor with the display will be about $175 on Monday. And then the price will go up based on how many sensors you want. We also have more ruggedized outdoor sensors that don't have the display and are more weatherproof. Okay, and then what about this uh, Arduino board? And then the Arduino board is $75 and it comes with uh, USB programmability, whereas the uh, sensors themselves do not, and more LEDs and headers and stuff to be able to connect other devices to. Great. Okay, well, Ron Ronald, we uh, definitely appreciate your time. Uh, so, Ronald, of course, is with Observos, and I am Brad with Engadget here at Engadget Expand. Thanks for watching.